Hello, friends. Welcome to today's episode of the Simple 7 Lifestyle Podcast. I'm Dr. Jerry Duggar, and I just want to congratulate you again on taking some of your free time today to invest in making your life a little bit better. Now, as I'm recording this episode, we are right in the middle of the NBA Finals. And so I want to start this episode off with a quote from the greatest of all time, Michael Jordan. He was quoted as saying, a coach is someone who sees beyond your limitations and guides you to greatness. I'm not saying basketball players are, you know, the most profound thinkers on the planet, but that's a pretty great quote about the value of a coach. And he should know he was coached by some of the greatest of all time as well. So I believe that every one of us needs a coach. <laughs> It doesn't matter whether you're an NBA basketball player or a tennis player or even a corporate executive or a school teacher or a parent, stay-at-home mom. It doesn't really matter what you do. If you want to be good at it, if you want to be the best you can be at it, it might be a good idea to have a coach, to listen to somebody who has been there, done that, and who can also see the things that you can't see. Now, I want to tell you a funny little story. Tammy is just starting to learn to love golf as much as I do. And so we go out and play and she's picking it up and she's getting better and better. But if any of you have played golf, you know that there are a million things that you could be thinking about as you get ready to swing. The golf swing is pretty challenging. There's a lot of factors that go into it. and so for a long time, I just kind of relied on her trying to get a feel and just kind of get an athletic presence about her golf shot. She developed some really consistent things that would happen. And so without trying to overwhelm her, I just give her one little tip before she swings. Watch your grip. Okay, move your position. And you just give her a little bit to think about each time. And then if I don't say anything for a few swings, the, the mistake kind of creeps back in. So she says, I don't care what you tell me, just tell me something before so I can think about one, one thing that I don't know enough about, you know? And lo and behold, she gets a much better shot. She looks over at me and I feel like a little proud little coach, right? Because I'm helping her fall in love with this game. Anyway, I'm no golf pro, but I know a little bit more than Tammy does. And so I can coach her on things that she doesn't even know to think about and the things that aren't in her muscle memory yet. So we all need coaches. We all have these elements of our lives where there are blind spots, things that we don't see, things that we don't even know we don't know yet. And so that's what we want to talk about today, the value of coaching, somebody who can help us unleash our potential. Now, I'm sure that you're noticing that there are a lot of different types of coaches showing up in the marketplace. This coaching industry is booming. You're seeing people who are health coaches or life coaches or relationship coaches, career coaches, high performance coaches. You get it. Now, all estimates suggest that this trend is going to continue to grow. Now, there definitely are some challenges that come along with this kind of explosion. Namely, it's kind of the Wild West. There's no real consistent definition of what sort of curriculum it takes to become a coach or to call yourself a coach. That can lead to some problems where somebody who takes a weekend course can now advise people on their life. So this episode is not long enough to go into the nitty gritty of you know, what makes up a good coaching curriculum. So we're just going to set that aside and maybe just state the fact that there are people who are really dedicated and have spent a lot of time and energy to, to become certified through legitimate schools. And then there are others who might not. So buyer beware. Instead, in this episode, I want to focus on a few of the benefits that a good coach can provide to help you really unleash and uncover some 
hidden potential that you have in your life and help you really get the most out of your life and make you feel like you're making progress and growing. That's one of the most important things to find happiness and joy is to be on a path of growth and development, really to be looking at your life and teasing out the areas where you could improve. In my experience working with, with people over the last quarter century, I've witnessed firsthand just how powerful coaching can be, especially through the healing journey. We are able to help people create results that there's no way they would have been able to pull off on their own. So, I mean, we got to think about it. If lifestyle change or change of any type of our habit was easy, we would have done it already. Most areas, we just kind of get ourselves stuck and they require a bit of assistance to get out of. So that's the job of a dedicated coach on your side. Uh, in fact, one of our recent patients just shared this. They said, I love that in the beginning, when I was making all of these lifestyle changes, I had two incredibly passionate and caring coaches to cheer me on. It was very hard at first, but as my body started to adjust to a new way of living, eating, moving, I started to feel so much better. I slept better, I felt better, thought better, and moved better, all as a result of changing my lifestyle. And I couldn't have done it without your coaching. Very cool testimonial. We get these all of the time. And that's been my personal experience as well. So today, let's talk about five major benefits um, of hiring a coach to help you tap into this potential that you, you might be missing out on. All right, so number one, a good coach will help you break through limiting beliefs. Limiting beliefs hold us back from reaching our full potential. Everyone has limiting beliefs. Most of the time, they're completely invisible to us. Just like, you know, it's hard to actually see the lens of my glasses when I'm wearing them. They're transparent. I can't really see that there's a lens, but everything that I see beyond the lens is shaped and affected by that lens. And we all have hidden beliefs and frameworks that we picked up when we were kids. Now, some of those are very great, they're helpful, and others, they're just things that we picked up that might be limiting us. And it takes somebody else who can look at us and look at our decisions and our behaviors and help us to kind of question, is that really the way we want to think about it? Most of these limitations can be blown right through, and we can adopt a more abundant mindset or a more optimistic mindset, and we can work around some of these things, okay? But not if we don't even recognize they're operating in our life. So that's the value of a coach, to help us move through these self-limiting beliefs. All right, so number two, this comes down to goal setting and accountability. Setting clear, defined, reachable goals is essential for personal growth but it's often really challenging to stay motivated and to hold ourselves accountable. Coaching provides a structure and a support framework that's necessary for effective goal accomplishment. You know, a coach can help you clarify your objectives, question why you want what you want so that you can really tease out what you're trying to accomplish. They can help you create an actionable plan, one that's going to work, and they can help you stay committed to achieving these desired outcomes, right? So goal setting and accountability, that's number two. Now, number three, a good coach will nurture resilience. Life is full of setbacks, challenges, obstacles. Things rarely go exactly the way we design them to go. So we have to be able to adapt and we also have to be able to bounce back from these challenges, the things that knock us off our plan, because it's invariably going to happen. We need to develop emotional maturity, emotional strength, adaptive thinking, and, and really maintain a positive mindset in the face of the adversity that we're going to face. And a good coach will help us to develop that resilient 
capacity that we all have. Coaches may have faced a very similar challenge that we are now facing. Or even if they haven't dealt with it personally, it's likely they've coached other people who are stuck right where you are. So all of a sudden, a world of potential ideas may be available to you that you wouldn't have thought of before. And this helps you adapt. And the more you adapt successfully, the more you can trust your own ability to bounce back. That faith, that confidence, that belief in your resilience, that can be, you know, gifted to you through the work of a good coach. All right, so number four, I was kind of leading right into this. A good coach will cultivate confidence and self-esteem. So as we work through these challenges, we become resilient. A natural byproduct is self-confidence and self-esteem. That gives us the motivation and the drive that we can stick out our neck into that next big goal or the next thing that we want to work on. That helps us to appreciate our own strengths as well. In coaching, you know, we discuss really practical techniques for building self-esteem, overcoming self-doubt, and embracing this, this mindset that you can do it, right? That this is possible. Coaches remind us that we don't want to measure our success based on our ultimate, you know, ideal. We actually want to measure our success based on where we started from. If you go back to one of the first episodes of this podcast called The Gap and the Gain, we talked about the fact that happiness comes from measuring our progress from where we started, not necessarily measuring how much distance we still have to go to reach our ideal. So we want to live in the gain and not live in the gap. And when we do, we develop this confidence and this self-esteem. So that's the role of a good coach to help instill that in us through our successes. All right. And number five, a good coach helps us create a life of purpose. Now, if you're like me, you're trying to develop a life of impact, of meaning, of purpose. And a good coach can guide us all on this journey of self-discovery and help to align our behaviors with our core values. I think it's helpful to remember that we're really all on a journey of transformation. Now, of course, the pressures of life work on us and force us to adapt and grow. Some responses to the stresses of life are really healthy, and others might be maladaptive. They might cause us to freeze up or kind of get stuck in bad patterns and shrink and kind of retreat inward. This feels like a self-protective process, and it is maybe initially, but if we get stuck in this pattern of showing up smaller and smaller in our life, it becomes more and more difficult to break through that and to break free. Most of us first need to see that we're stuck and exactly how we're stuck. We need someone to show us a new model of how to move forward, right? And next it comes a little bit of a helping hand or suggestions or guidance or tools or, or the know-how that we're going to need to get ourselves out of this mess. And once we're successful, we start to believe in ourselves a little bit more and we're able to take more and more purposeful, powerful action. And when we have setbacks and challenges, we need somebody to support us and guide us through. And really, it doesn't matter if we're helping somebody lose weight or helping somebody deal with emotional trauma and stress that they've been through, or, you know, somebody's helping you work with your finances. The model, the process of coaching is really beneficial in any one of those endeavors in your life. Once we've accomplished it in one area, rinse and repeat, like do this again. Before you know it, you go through all the different areas of your life and you realize that your entire life can kind of take an upgrade. You can be more fulfilled. You can feel more purposeful. You can have greater impact. The way you affect other people in your life will continue to ripple out. So this growth sometimes feels really small and really slow, but 
it is happening nonetheless. And when we look back, we all of a sudden see where we've come from and we can be proud of the work that we're doing. So who knows, maybe you'll even have an opportunity to now turn around and help others. That is really the, the blessing of life is to grow and develop and then to share that and guide somebody else along their journey. When you've become an expert in a domain of life, you really owe it to yourself and really to the world to turn around and teach that and help somebody else who's stuck. So, all right, that's a good overview of the benefit of coaches. I want you to evaluate your life right now. Look at the different domains of your life and see, where am I spinning my wheels? Where do I feel like I'm just, you know, I've tried all this stuff on my own and I'm just not getting results. I'm just not moving forward like I want. How's your physical health? How's your mental health? What about your marriage or other key relationships? How are your finances? What's your career looking like? I mean, evaluate these things and say, could I use the services of a coach? And then we got to go find you one, right? You might need some, some guidance there. I want you to reach out to me. I have a network of coaches in all sorts of domains of life. If you need a physical health coach or a mental health coach, we may be able to work with you. But I'm no expert on personal finance or you know, career guidance. So if you have areas that you want to improve that I'm not an expert in, we're going to plug you in and find you a coach that will be right for you. So whatever you see as a priority to address, I'd encourage you to find a coach. Don't, net, don't let another day go by without getting the support that you need. Okay, so that's your invitation for today. Now, let's go out and do some good in the world today, and I will see you next time.